God is love. And when we experience God, we experience love. When we experience love, we experience God. And at the table of the Lord, we claim the bread and the cup are symbols of that presence in this space. And we take them, and we take them into our lives to remind us that this gift does not stand afar. We don't just observe it. We invite it in so that it shapes our lives, it changes us, and so that we might be a model of that wonderful gift to the world. Let us now gather our hearts and minds around this marvelous table. Jesus's time when a community gathered for a meal, the purpose of gathering was all about how could you get more power or more prestige? How could you raise your social standing by being seen with the right people at a meal? But the most scandalous thing that Jesus probably did in his ministry was gathered folks around a table for a different purpose. He gathered folks around a table, folks that would have never been invited to those public meals, to demonstrate and to show love and how God's kingdom was available for all. In fact, God's kingdom was so available that Jesus said again and again that the people he gathered around the table with were probably the first to be welcomed into God's kingdom. And so this morning we gather around a table. It's not a table that we gain social status or power or prestige. It's a table where we gather to remember the love that was shown for all of us. And this table doesn't belong to Cypress Creek. It belongs to God, and so all are welcome. And so we invite you this morning to open your hearts to the love that's being displayed by this table. Let's pray together. Holy Father, we come to you this day, anxiously awaiting the birth of your son. May we show your love and our patience and kindness this week as we make the finishing touches for a special holy day of Christmas. For the members of our families that may be estranged, may we be able to find forgiveness in our hearts and to come together and find peace. Father, this table has been prepared for you. May you bless these elements and give them the nourishment we need to become your messengers so that all can see your beauty in all things, find peace in the world, and above all, see your love in each of us. As we prepare to come to show your love, may we first say the prayer that you gave us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread as we forgive those who sin against forgive those who sin against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever amen during each of those meals jesus would take a loaf of bread he'd bless it and he'd break it and at his last meal he told his closest followers this is my body broken for you and then he took an ordinary cup of wine. We use grape juice here at Cypress Creek. And he said, this is my blood shed for you and for all so that your sins are forgiven. And then he reminded them, whenever you gather and share a meal, remember me. And so this morning we do gather around a table and remember him. 
The table is open to all. If you need gluten-free communion, we have that here to my left to your right. And as you come forward, we'll invite you to take a piece of the bread to dip it into the cup and celebrate the love that was incarnate in Christ. And as you come forward, we'll invite you to return a portion of the many blessings that you've received in the baskets that we have set out. The table's prepared. Let's celebrate the meal. feeling excited. School's out. Just a few more days. But might I suggest that it's not just a season for kids. It is for all of us. There is a sense of anticipation for our God who comes anew into our lives to bring the gifts that our hearts yearn for. And love is perhaps the most important most profound, the one that if it is not there, there is a clearer void. And God says, here, this is what love looks like. This is who I am, and it is a gift that you can take, a free gift, no strings attached. And today we gather, we give thanks for that, and we hopefully are able to open ourselves up anew. 
Each Sunday, Cypress Creek extends an invitation. It is an invitation to join a community that is striving to put love first, but it's also an opportunity to connect one's life to that gift of love, Jesus Christ. If you desire to respond today, you can either come forward as we sing or you can meet with one of our elders or pastors out in the lobby. Might you just stand if you're able. Let us join our voices. Christmas Eve, two services, 5 o'clock, 7.30. I hope you will come. And if you're out of town, get on the internet. Find a church close by. Make sure you make that a part of this season. And then Christmas Day, Sunday, one service, 10.30, the first of three one-service Sundays. So make sure that's all in your mind, that you're at not just one, but as many services as you can over these next few weeks. If you uh, saw that list of poinsettia names, uh, folks that poinsettias were either given in honor of or memory of, and you'd like a copy of it, you can pick up a copy off the welcome table out in the foyer. Now I invite you to take the hand of somebody close and let us join together in our prayer. Gracious God, may your love and our lives come together in a life lived in love. May Jesus be our mentor and our model and may the world see in us a life that is willing to put love first in all things. Amen.